<clears throat> Martin Luther King stated, I have a dream. Well, I have a dream of my own. And that dream is to help each and every one of you achieve your goals within Toastmasters International. You all came here for different reasons. Maybe some of you just want to be able to talk without being at the lectern, shaking. Or maybe you're comfortable, but you have too many ahs, ums, you know, those type of things. Or some people who just talk with one arm and the other arm is dead. Whatever your goal is, you can achieve it with Toastmasters International. The past international president, Helen Burchard, said, if everybody knew what was all possible with Toastmasters, you would never leave Toastmasters. The thing is, with Toastmasters, this is an educational organization for leadership and communication. But it actually goes beyond that. When we first join Toastmasters, for whatever reason it is, we only see a small part of it. It's like being out here at the foothills. And you're at the bottom of a hill and you're looking up and you're going, you know, that's kind of a ways up there. But I can do it. Unless some cataclysmic event happens. And you start planning, how can I get up there? And you might see a path that goes off for a little bit, but then it ends, or you can't quite see where to go. And you start trekking up there. And you might get to a point where you know, it takes a lot of work. It challenges you to go further. Do you quit? Or do you continue on? Or you might get to a place where you completely stop. And you have to reevaluate and say, how can I do this? Maybe I can't find the next way on my own. Maybe I need a mentor, or maybe I need a map, or talk to somebody that has gone there before to find out how to get to the top of the mountain. Well, the thing is, is when you get to the top of the mountain, you realize there's another mountain beyond it. One of my teachers a long time ago told me, what you need to do with a person is take them to a point that they can see and when they reach that, they can see further. Maybe your idea of what you can see, that top of that first mountain, is just being able to be comfortable speaking. Maybe it's reaching your competent communicator award. Whatever it is, that's your first one. But once you get there, you're going to find out there's more offered. As many of you know, I practice Chinese medicine, and my vision, my mission within that role is to help as many people as possible achieve health, wellness, vitality, and longevity using natural, safe, and effective methods. What that doesn't state is that I approach that with the body, mind, and spirit. I have some patients that even tell me, now why do you go, I should pay you to be my therapist, not my acupuncturist? Because I try and help them on all levels. And here in Toastmasters, you have other people to help you. You have everybody in the Toastmasters organization. Because each and every person is starting the same place where you started. They know that you want to improve yourself. And we are like-minded people, so you can come here and speak and not be ridiculed or laughed at, or well, unless it's a humorous speech, <laughs> then hopefully you get laughs. But we're all here to support one another to help achieve those goals. And within the club, we have our mentors, we have our officers, and we have our other highly developed speaker, like Mary Alston, who's a distinguished Toastmaster. You have resources available to you. But one thing, with all of this, and any other educational system that's out there, there's two things 
that are important to getting all that you can from that educational experience. One is looking at that education and absorbing it, letting it come in. If you're putting off to it, you're not going to absorb it. But the second part, and probably the most important part, is to take action, to put forth the effort to absorb that to see where it's leading you and to take it further. Trent and Carl and I, we were at the last district conference and our keynote speaker was Albert Mensa. Albert comes from Ghana, Africa. He just had a new job working as a manager of some company and they said you should go to Toastmasters and help him with his English a bit, his communication, but also his leadership within being a manager. He went to his first meeting, did his speech. Everybody's like, oh, standing ovation, he loved it. Then they said, you need to be in our international speech contest. So he joined that, he won. Then everybody said, you need to go to area. So I went to area, he won. Then he was supposed to go to the district. And they said, well, before you can do that, you really, to be eligible, you need to do six speeches. Some people might say, going up that hill, that mountain, that's one of those little challenges. Some people see it as a challenge. Some people say this is a cataclysm. But what he did, he went out and did all those speeches. And he continued going to next level and next level of winning these speeches until he got to the international conference where he came in second place for the world's best speaker. When Albert first started Toastmasters, that first man was just learning some skills in communication and leadership. But then he went to the next man and next one, and finally, after winning that, coming in second place, he realized this is what he wanted to do for a profession. And he became a professional speaker who's speaking around the globe, making a lot of money. Could that be you? Yeah, it can be you. Maybe that's not your goal. Maybe later on when you get to that next mile, you might say, you know what? I could do this. But no matter what, what your goals are now or what your goals are later, my main mission, my main statement to each and every one of you it's just like with my patients. I want to help each and every one of you achieve whatever goal it is that you want to achieve. Maybe you leave Toastmasters, or maybe you leave Opportunity Talks. Maybe I leave. Who knows? No matter what, I will be there to help each and every one of you achieve those goals. It's up to you to take the next step. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him a drink. Each and every one of you have my, not except our guests, <laughs> have my email. Each and every one of you have my phone number. Take the next step. I want to see you achieve your dreams and beyond.